So this is a video about how to record your own drums where you can create customized beats using GarageBand. And it's a pretty basic and beginner video. I'm making this video because I just figured out how to do it. And I watched a bunch of different videos and nobody else was really explaining about how to do this. And first I'll just show you what the final product is. I've got a track here with drums and it's just hi-hat on one, two, three, four. And I've got a track up here which is a bass drum on one, two, three, four, a kick drum, and then the snare on beats two and four. And so I'll play it for you. And I also create it actually as a loop. So it's got four measures and it'll just loop through that. Okay. Pretty basic stuff here. Simple beats, you know, you can get fancy, whatever. Um, the way that I did it, the first thing I had to do is figure out how to do it, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I got to give uh, I got to give credit to the person who actually helped me to do it, which is uh, here this guy right here, um, Leone. So you basically you create a software instrument track to create your own drums. Don't use the drummer thing. So I'm gonna add a new track right here, and um, you choose a software instrument. Okay, and I'm going to mute these tracks right here, I'm going to mute both of these. And so now, instead of classic electric piano, what I want to do is I want to go over here and choose drum kit. And choose whichever one you want, you know, heavy, or I, I used East Bay for the other one, so I'll just go ahead and use that again. And uh, you can choose a keyboard recording by going up under here and show musical typing. You can also go um, command and K, and that'll bring that thing up. and well, I don't really hear anything right now. So, in order to fix that, what do I have to do to be able to hear the drums on this? Um, i got to change the region. That's what I have to do. Okay, so, so here. There we go. So, yeah, these buttons change the regions. And um, as you can tell, I'm a beginner, like I said, and I'm just showing this because I couldn't find anybody to really help me that much. I spent a little time on this and finally, finally got somebody showed me how to do it and figure the rest out on my own. So now I'm going to record. I'm going to go rewind to the beginning. That rewinds to the beginning. And hit record. And I'm going to start recording here. Three, four. Okay, now I'm done. Now what I did to get this as quarter notes exactly is I want to actually quantize that to one quarter quarter notes so that it'll be exactly right on the beat. And um, there you go. So now what you can do is you can um, you can add another track. Let's say if you wanted to have a hi hat on there. Find the right reason for that. Put the hi hat on one and three. How about that? Go back. Uh, so the way to do it is you go click on the plus, create a new track. Choose classical electric piano. Nope, choose drum kit. We'll go back to bridge kit, East Bay, we'll choose that one again. And switch the region. Okay, we're on the right region. And now I'm see this track's activated. We'll keep that one activated. Rewind to the very beginning. Hit the record button. Quantize. Yeah, we want to quantize to quarter notes here. It's not right. Do that. I have to record something first. An H. Okay, so type an H on my keyboard to play. See, I didn't quite hit that right on exactly, but quantize should be able to fix that. Let's rewind it to the beginning. 
so it's off. But if I quantize it to one quarter now, it should fix it. Yeah, there we go. So now you can add the snare drum in or, or whatever else you want. Um, I've covered in this video how to add a track that's a software instrument. That's done by this plus button here. Go on there, choose a software instrument. We covered how to use this uh, musical typing. And that's where you go into window to show musical typing. All right, you can close that window. And it won't, uh, it won't, it won't do anything for you. And you press the keys, but when you show this window, then it starts working. I think you have to be recording. No, you don't have to be recording. But that's how you get it to go. If you don't have that window selected, then it's not going to, it's not going to do anything. And in order to create a loop, the final thing that I want to do is create a loop. So I'll select these two by clicking and then dragging, and then copy it. And then I set the uh, marker to right here at measure two copy it and then I paste it and I paste it and I paste it again. So now I've got this thing four, four measures long and I've already got this loop up here and then uh, I just I just choose to turn that on and off right there. Select that and create the loop right there. And there you have it. You know if you wanted to do it as two measures you could do that. You know, I, I don't know why I just put it as four measures but uh, I figured maybe I'll add another section on later. Okay, there's some issue that it's not being exact on so it's not quite exactly lined up. Sometimes it'll do that. I don't know why, but maybe uh, somebody else can figure out why it does that. Okay, this is still not exactly what I want. Here, maybe that's what I have to do. I have to snap to the grid. Kick drum off and I have a yeah, nice little hi hat to solo over. Play some guitar solos over that. So I've covered how to mute the track, how to add a new software instrument track, and that's really where that's where the thing is. Where I was getting messed up before is I was trying to add drummer. What drummer is is automated drums, and I don't want that. I don't want all that, you know. Eighth note syncopation, sixteenth note stuff. I just want my own drums. I want it simple so that way I can play triplets where I want them. I can do whatever I want. I can change it, customize it, anything I want to. And then I covered also how to add a loop. Select measures, copy and paste. And um, that's that's took me a little bit of, a little bit of time to figure out how to do it. And um, hopefully this video is going to help you guys to uh, you know get started with GarageBand 2.